Pakistan's foreign minister has once again accused India of material breaches of the Indus Waters Treaty, warning that any disruption could be viewed as an act of war. Pakistan Air Force has begun advanced talks with Turkish Aerospace Industries to extend the service life of its aging F-16 fleet, and integrate Turkey's open architecture weapons system, that will enable use of Turkish missiles and precision weapons without US source code access. The Ministry of Defense is considering a proposal to raise the Indian Air Force's sanctioned strength from 42 to around 50 squadrons. If approved, the move could require 160 additional fighter jets, directly boosting indigenous production lines for Tejas Mark II. India has issued a no time for naval ship firing in the Bay of Bengal from 25th to 26th December, and the designated zone extends nearly 730 km, with strong indications towards 800 km Brahmos LR missile validation. The Indian Army's Strike Corps has successfully operationally validated its in-house developed 100 km range Kaga Chakra UAV, confirming the readiness of the EW resilient UAV for field deployment. The Indian Army has fast-tracked the procurement of 850 indigenous kamikaze drones worth 2,000 crore rupees, with clearance expected shortly. The move is part of a broader plan to induct up to 30,000 loitering munitions, including dedicated Dashni drone platoons at infantry battalion level. The Indian Army has issued a request for information for the procurement of 1 lakh units of 9 by 19 mm pistols, aimed at meeting its operational and service sidearm requirements across formations. The DRDO has advanced its Star Supersonic Target Missile program into Phase 3 flight trials, marking a major step toward operational maturity. Zulu Defense's Hoverby Kamikaze drones are now in service with Indian Navy Marcos Commandos. The electrically powered Hoverby is designed for precision strikes portability and rapid deployment, making it well suited for surgical missions where low acoustic and visual signatures are critical. Noida-based Diaspro in Tech Private Limited has developed an indigenous muzzle velocity radar that measures projectile speed in real time as shells exit the barrel, feeding precise data into artillery fire control systems to improve first round accuracy and reduce ammunition use. US firm Nautilus is in talks with SpiceJet for up to 100 blended wing body aircraft and plans to set up manufacturing in India. While the Nautilus Horizon blended wing body aircraft targets fuel efficient civil operations, the platform is also being positioned for defense roles, including autonomous aerial refueling tankers, strategic cargo aircraft, and drone mothership concepts. The DRDO and the Indian Air Force expect the 300 km range Rudrum to air launched missile to receive production clearance in 2026 and is likely to enter series production 18 months after clearance. The missile is already compatible with Su-30 and Mirage 2000, with integration planned for Rafale and Tejas Mark II. The DRDO is developing a next-generation air-launched cruise missile for the Indian Air Force with a projected range of around 250 km. Unlike conventional cruise missiles, the system will feature loitering and real-time surveillance, allowing it to orbit a target area after launch and await strike authorization. The missile will enable man-in-the-loop engagement, allowing operators to positively identify targets before attack, significantly reducing collateral damage in dynamic battlefield conditions. It is expected to carry a 50 kg warhead, support modular payloads and real-time data transmission. The DRDO is fast-tracking induction of its indigenous 50 kW additive laser-directed energy weapon on Indian Navy warships, that can engage unmanned aerial systems at 5 km, including multiple swarm targets simultaneously, with engagement times of just a few seconds. Powered directly from a ship's grid, the system is compatible with existing combat management systems. Initial induction is expected from 2026 starting with Project 15A and Project 15B destroyers, followed by frigates and new build warships. Today's Top 3 Comments Omar oh,